how does somebody go feel from I can't be on stages to actually getting on stages? Yeah. Well, I think one of the one of the number one things we have to realize is if if the crowd is what scares you, right? It's all about determining what scares you about doing it. Number one, if it's the crowd size that scares you, pick one person in the audience and deliver your speech to them. It will make you feel so much better when you're only looking at like one person or one table, right? And that's what I tell my clients all the time when they're like, I'm scared, I don't know that I can do this. I'm like, look at me, look at me in the audience. I'll smile, I'll nod my head, I'll do all the things you need me to do to make you feel better. Wait, if I look at you during my speech, I'm gonna lose my shit because I'm gonna end up laughing the entire better. time. Uh, but <laughs> in every audience, there is somebody willing to support that speaker in every single audience. So if you're up there and you're scared, find that person in the audience who's smiling at you, who's looking at you, not in a creepy way, but in like a nice supportive way and deliver your speech to them. If it's the crowd that scares you, deliver your speech to one person. If it's just the extrovertedness of having to perform, I think there are two things you can do. Number one, make it a performance and put on a mask. Be a different person. Convince yourself you have an alter ego. This is what Kevin does. Yes, right? It's his alter ego. And on stage, he's a different person. And when you build that into your performance, when you say, well, it's not me up there that they're looking at. It's, you know, Dr. Fierce Sven. or whatever. It's Sven. Sven. <laughs> it's Sven that they're looking at. Then you allow yourself to not feel as judged, right? And it can give you the space. The other thing I would say for those introverts who are just like, it's too much energy, I would say yes, but I can get up in front of a crowd and speak for one hour and make more money than I could getting on four Zoom calls. So do you want to put out one hour of energy or do you want to have to put out four hours of energy? Right? Like to a certain extent, if that's your introvertedness, go and speak on a stage, do it for an hour, then you can go curl up with your cocoa and not work the rest of the day. I typically don't. If I have a speaking engagement, it's the only thing on my calendar that day. I go, I do it, I expel all the energy out of my system, and then I just get to relax because I made more money in that hour than I would have spent all day on my computer on Zoom calls.